If you're watching this video, the chances are that you want to elevate your life in 2022 and rest assured that you came to the right place for that. I've dedicated my life to helping other men, women, and everyone else in between elevate their lives in every conceivable way. You see, the difference between me and a lot of other self-help creators, no disrespect to anyone else, but the difference between me and most other self-help creators is that I take a holistic approach to self-help. Now, in the manosphere, this is specifically lacking, okay? A lot of men aren't really pushing for mental health. They're not advocating for spiritual development. They're just focused on helping you look better, helping you get women, helping you get money. And I'm here to help you get those things as well, okay? I want those things just as much as the next man. But at the same time, I'm well aware that without the spiritual and the mental foundation in place, you won't be able to enjoy the benefits that you reap from working on yourself in a financial sense, in a physical sense, and so on and so forth. Now, with that being said, I want to share with you three habits that I found that have helped me elevate myself mentally, physically, and spiritually. Okay, if you really want to elevate in 2022, it's time to take a holistic approach to your self-development. It's time to start taking yourself seriously by working on your mind, your body, and your soul. Now, with that being said, the first thing that you need to do to elevate yourself, and this is more of a mental practice, is cold showers. Okay, now I know it is hard. It is hard to take cold showers. I've been taking cold showers for about two years now, and they haven't gotten any easier. But my mind has gotten stronger, and as a result, they feel easier. The water is every bit as cold as it's been since the first cold shower that I ever took. But because my mind has developed these calluses, this extra strength from taking cold showers repetitively every day for multiple years, they feel easier. It's kind of like when you go to the gym and you lift weights, the weight doesn't get any lighter. You just get stronger. In the same way, taking cold showers works as a great mental strengthening exercise. It allows you to elevate your mindset such that Events that would shake you normally don't shake you as much because you develop the just do it mentality. Okay, you develop the ability to dive right into things that maybe make you uncomfortable on the front end with the understanding that in the back end, the growth will be worth the discomfort. Okay, so by taking cold showers, you are exposing yourself to discomfort every single day in the name of growth. Kind of like going to the gym, like I said earlier. Okay, you want to elevate your mind and set that foundation in place for you to be able to maintain the consistency with all of your other habits. Okay, self-development is like a puzzle. You need all of the pieces to make the big picture that is that better version of you. Okay, and if you neglect certain pieces of the puzzle, the picture will never be complete and you'll only ever be a shell of what you could possibly be. And taking cold showers helps you develop that mental fortitude to stay true to your journey and stay true to yourself along that journey. Now, the next thing that you need to do, and this is more of a physical habit, is to develop a skincare routine. And that brings me to Tiege Hanley, the sponsor of today's video. Tiege Hanley has helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. Honestly, it's the best skincare routine for guys like you and me who wanna get better. I'd personally recommend their level one skincare routine, which includes the following. A daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin. A two times per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dead skin cells. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun. And a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. My favorite part about Tiege Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much of each product to use, and in which order to use each product. They make the entire process of achieving and maintaining good skin easy and simple. Their products have made my skin look and feel better, but you don't just have to take my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website from satisfied customers from all over the world. In addition to amazing skin, members of Tiege Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your own box, exclusive monthly deals, the ability to pause or cancel your membership at any time, and free US shipping. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers, which is you guys, an amazing deal. Just click the first link in the description or the pinned comment of this video and you'll get 30% off of your first box and you'll get a free gift. 
Okay, that's an amazing deal. Invest in yourself, invest in your physical well being. Okay, you want to elevate your physical well being in any way possible. And I know that for the most part, your physical well being is related to perception economics. Okay, the way that other people perceive you when they look at you. I understand that in the real world, that is important. That does play a role in your success. Now, that's not to say that you have to be a supermodel to be successful in life, but at the same time, it does serve you well to take care of yourself. And when you take care of your skin in particular, you are automatically making a good first impression on anybody who you come into contact with because the subconscious perception is that he takes care of his skin, therefore he takes care of himself. He takes care of himself, therefore he takes care of his business. If he can take care of his business, he can help me take care of my business. And that will help you with everything from dating to securing business deals to getting that job that you want. You know, like I said, I'm not saying that one pimple will negate your chances of being successful in life, but when you take care of yourself, it shows. And it shows in the best ways possible. Now, the next thing that you need to do to level up as a man in 2022, and this is a more spiritual practice, is to confront your emotions. Now, this is something that a lot of men are scared of. The concept of facing their emotions, facing their traumas, facing their fears, facing their shadow beliefs. And that is precisely why you should do it. In the same way that you should get in that cold shower because it makes you uncomfortable, that's all the more reason to dive into the shadow realm that lies within your subconscious mind. Because when you ignore your shadow beliefs, your shadow thoughts, your shadow feelings and perceptions, what ends up happening is they project themselves through your physical actions, through your words, through your thought patterns. Okay, have you ever just been sitting there enjoying a beautiful day and all of a sudden you get an intrusive thought? Maybe a thought that if you said out loud would put you and your freedom in jeopardy. Okay, it's probably happened to all of us, whether you're willing to admit it or not. And the reason why these thoughts present themselves in your mind is because you are repressing your own shadows and they are making themselves known through these intrusive thoughts. It's kind of like if you have a child who wants attention and you deprive that child of attention. Eventually, that child is going to throw a temper tantrum. In the same way, when you deprive your emotions of attention, your emotions will seep out in ways that are inconvenient for you and those around you that could put you and other people in harm's way. Now, I think a big part of the reason why a lot of men are afraid to confront or even acknowledge their emotions is because they believe that society expects them to be stoic. Now, understand that stoicism is not a bad thing in and of itself. Okay, stoicism is very powerful if done authentically, but that's the problem. A lot of people fail to make that distinction between authentic stoicism and surface level stoicism. Okay, when it comes to dealing with your shadow beliefs, you have to deal with them or they will deal with you. They will control you. They will manipulate your thoughts, your subconscious thought patterns. And your subconscious thought patterns account for the majority of the actions that you take in your day-to-day -day life. This is how a lot of people end up stuck where they are. It's because they don't want to confront and thus let go of their shadow beliefs, okay? Their shadow perceptions that they have, the traumas that they have, the time that they got their heart broken in third grade that they never got over. They just told themselves that they were fine because boys don't cry. Okay, those shadows right there, that inner child is still within you. And you have to be willing to confront and love that version of you. And in doing so, you will develop true stoicism because you will develop emotional mastery. In order to master your emotions, you have to practice your emotions. But practicing your emotions starts with acknowledging your emotions and accepting your emotions. If you don't accept the fact that you have emotions in the first place, you'll never have the chance to experience them. And if you never have the chance to experience them, you'll never be able to master them.